Hi Libras, hope you guys are all doing well. Happy new week. We are entering or recovering October 7th till the 13th. Happy birthday to all of you guys. Let me know in the comments if it's your birthday this week or if it's coming up very soon or if it already passed and maybe you'll find your birthday twin and I wish you guys all the best. So this week we're going to look into your health, career work, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships just like we do every week. But since we have three major events happening in the sky this week, I am going to do three bonus messages for you uh, for Jupiter and Gemini going retrograde, for Pluto and Capricorn going direct, and also Mercury moving into Scorpio this week. I did already run down the weekly astrological energies video, so make sure you go watch that before watching this so you get a general feel and vibe of what's going on in the sky. And I'll have a link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. So without further ado, let's just get started. So this is from my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. So first question for Jupiter, um, Jupiter and Gemini going retrograde until February 4th. What um, wisdom or knowledge are you going to need to use or revise at this time? or in this next little while. What wisdom and knowledge are you gonna have to use or maybe revise at this time with a current experience that may reflect or may be kind of similar or repeat of the past? For my Libras. And I'm using a different deck than I used for your actual reading just so it doesn't get mixed up. All right. Nice. Okay, so you guys got the Emperor Aries energy. So um, with this Jupiter and Gemini transit, it being retrograde for the next four months or so, uh, what past information, wisdom, knowledge are you going to have to revise? Are going to have to use or revise at this time? It's going to be relating to your leadership role or your leadership position. So something that you had to learn on your own, or this is going to be some information that you're going to have to learn through your own actions and uh, taking that leadership position role in your life in whatever shape form it looks like okay so any information that you didn't learn on your own or you didn't have to take charge take leadership on um, you're gonna have to do that at this time and use your own expertise your own experiences to either use that or revise it because you see what needs to be done or what you need to take action on and this is your opposite sign actually your opposite energy aries here so you're gonna have to get comfortable with doing things alone not relying on others not uh, depending depending on others or caring too much about others' opinions or what they think about you, okay? So during this Jupiter transit in the next four months, you're going to have to rely on your own leadership skills, your own knowledge, and take your own action, and you're going to gain the wisdom and knowledge that you need to use or revise to move forward in whichever areas of your life that this may play out. Okay, so pull from your opposite sign, get comfortable with being uncomfortable and uh, doing things, finding your own way, finding your own path um, and not relying too much on others. You got to take charge. You got to be the leader. Okay, hopefully that helps. All right. Now, uh, next message is for Pluto and Capricorn going direct this week, which I believe is happening on the 11th. And next month it will go into Aquarius. So this is the last month we will have Pluto in Capricorn. So uh, what are you going to be uh, transforming or changing in your life? Um, to get in a structured, disciplined way to maybe create a new status, legacy, uh, commitment for the long term. So what area or what, what or where are you transforming, changing? Nice. Nine of Pentacles. All right, so Libra's Nine of Pentacles, again, is like that energy of independence, being self-sufficient, taking care of yourself, knowing how to fend for yourself. And uh, this is an energy of also you having all the wisdom and knowledge due to your experiences, you being really um, educated, uh, have already put in a lot of hard work into something. And so now you can stand tall and feel confident in your successes, in your gains, in your uh, rewards and the things that you have accumulated. So during this uh, transit with Pluto um, and Capricorn going direct now, I think this is gonna be uh, 
what or where you're transforming is you and uh, doing things on your own, having more confidence or gaining more confidence by knowing, hey, I can do this by myself and I have been doing this by myself. I have the smarts, I have the intellect, I just need to work hard, I need to believe in myself, I need to have confidence in myself and I will be successful or I will gain that success, notoriety in however you know it fits in your world or however you see it and um, that's what you're gonna have to transform or change and have more confidence in yourself and put in the work and have that um, experience backing you up, that knowledge, that um, education to know that you can stand on your own two feet and um, you don't need to rely on anyone for anything. I like that. So it's like this empowerment uh, energy that is going to be kind of, uh, you're going to start to feel or feel like you need to move in that direction. All right, and remember Capricorn, you, you you guys square each other. So you're always gonna have to like learn from each other because you're both cardinal and you both wanna lead, but in your own way. So you kind of have to see this time, you gotta do things in a practical way. It may not be look as fair and balanced, but this is what makes sense. This is practical. I have to move forward and take action in this way. Okay, now lastly, Mercury going into Scorpio. So uh, how should you be thinking and communicating um, or going deeper about and using connection and emotion or maybe being a little more private or strategic at this time? So what do you actually need to be thinking and communicating about a little more deeper um, or deeply with Mercury and Scorpio for all my Libras? <clears throat> Sorry about like my voice, my throat they're kind of hurting a little bit, so I may sound a little like raspy or something. Um, okay, so you guys got temperance, so this is Sagittarius energy. Maybe some of you have Sagittarius in your chart, but that's besides the point. With uh, Mercury now moving into Scorpio, what you need to think and communicate a, a little bit deeper about is your uh, your beliefs your philosophical ways of thinking, your experiences, your positivity. Uh, this is something you need to go deeper in. Maybe your spirituality, your religion, like what are your deep beliefs and be more positive about these things. So whatever deep beliefs you have about yourself, you need to connect and go deeper emotionally and be more positive about these things. Ask more questions and actually rely your uh, rely more on your experiences to have this wisdom and knowledge. So when you're going deep, you know, and finding information or investigating um, and thinking and communicating, you you want to really like, uh, is this right? You know, is this does this align with my morals? What you really, when you're looking deep into things, look into the morality of it. Is this positive? Does this make me feel better? Am I going to grow from this? Am I going to have more wisdom and knowledge from real life experience, not just from he, she, he say, she say? So think and communicate more positively. Go deeper into your spirituality, your beliefs, your morality, um, and uh, go off more experience rather than just all logic. Okay, and maybe you want to if you have any close relationships or connections with like a mentor, a teacher, um, or someone you look up to, this is probably someone you can connect with or maybe learn, listen to that will help you grow and expand and go deeper about the right things in your life. Okay, nice. I like that. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoy that. It might make these readings a little bit longer, but oh well, it is what it is. So let's get into your health. All right, so Libras, you guys got here the four of pentacles. So this week, when it comes to your health, uh, this is Taurus energy. So maybe some of you have Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with the Taurus or just the energy overall. But this week, I do feel like you're connecting um, or you're feeling more confident maybe in your own skin. You may be investing more into your health, like financially, or you're taking your health more seriously. Um, but you could also be doing too much of something or eating too much of something or practicing too much of something that you already have a lot of. So you want to make sure you're not clinging on or holding on too tight to something or to a value or, um, you know, relying your confidence on your material, on your looks um, or how expensive something is to make you feel better about yourself. So here, um, overall, I think you're in... in you're doing good, but you may be holding on too tight to something that maybe is not necessary, like you're fine, you don't need to do too much of that or you don't need to eat too much of that. Um, 
And if you're experiencing any like tightness or stiffness in your body, whether it's like, you know, muscle acheness, uh, a knot or constipation or any kind of stiffness in your body, just kind of loosen up a little bit, move around a little bit or have more fluids, exercise, flow, things of that nature. All right. Now, when it comes to your um, and also have a little more variety in your diet because you may be eating too much of like one certain food even if it's like something good for you you want to have a little more variety and make sure you're eating uh consuming enough fluids and staying hydrated now when it comes to your work school career and finances you guys got the hanged woman so pisces energy maybe some of you have pisces in your chart or you're dealing with the pisces um or just the energy overall but this week when it comes to your uh, work, school, career, and finances, you may be kind of uh, like waiting for something or someone is waiting for you. You're kind of like sitting on some emotions and maybe feeling it out before you jump onto something or before you execute or say yes or no or go forward with it. But it looks like you're kind of feeling things out. You're not making any major moves. You're like, mm, you may be in limbo a little bit or you kind of know, but you're not really making any drastic or impulsive moves or decisions. You're feeling things out. You're in your feelings and emotions about something. And so you're not making any big major moves. So you're either waiting on something or maybe someone's waiting on you. Okay. Now, maybe just waiting for packages, waiting to hear back from someone or receive an email or something of that nature. Now, when it comes to your love, romance, dating, or relationships on your side, you guys got the magician, seven of wands, and the devil. So some of you could have Capricorn maybe somewhere in your chart, um, even fire like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then on this other side for this other person, this can be the past, present, or future situation, and this is their energy, so someone you could be dealing with or you will be dealing with at some point. And they got here the Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles, okay? So as far as who you could be dealing with, this person could be a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or also uh, maybe Libra or a little bit of earth as well. Uh, but it doesn't have to be, it could be any sign like I would see to you guys, it could just be the energy this person is embodying, putting out, or maybe be like a mixed match of one of those. So what's going on here? Um, it looks like you're very passionate about manifesting something, um, but you just wanna be careful that you're practicing moderation and that your desires don't get the best of you or you, you, know, you kind of lose control to your desires instead of controlling uh, letting your desires control you so that you control in your desires um because and i do feel like here whoever you're dealing with um is someone who's creating trying to create more fit, uh, balance and harmony in your life or they may be kind of like the voice of reason for you this week uh six is repeated twice for them so i do feel like they're paying attention to you and they're paying attention to the relationship and what maybe needs uh uh, more balanced and this person could be a soulmate for you they could be your soulmate okay so I do see here that um, they're starting off the week you guys are like in this winter mentality this person um, is going forward they feel really confident and excited about you or about the relationship or the status you are manifesting and thinking ahead and there could be specific things that you're trying to work on or you're trying to manifest, but this person is on board with you. Like they agree, they're on it, you guys are on the same path. Towards the middle of the week though, um, they are trying to release or let go of heavy emotions um, and trying to be more lighthearted because they may kind of sometimes get go too deep with things. And so they're really trying to focus their time, energy, resources into maybe other things. So they're trying to let go of some heavy emotions and walk away from that. But you may take that the wrong way and think that, okay, does that mean that I'm gonna have to do more work than you? Cause like, I'm not trying to work harder. I want us to work together. And so you may misinterpret or have like a slight misunderstanding and get a little defensive or aggressive with them when that's not really what they meant. They're just trying to not go too, too deep emotionally on certain things so that they could focus and use their energy and attention on the right things. But you might get a little defensive and feel like, oh, don't leave everything to me. Like, 
you know, I want a little bit of help here too. So there could be a, a frustration or a misunderstanding here because um, you may think that they're not as passionate or on, on board with your passions or what you're trying to communicate about. Or maybe when you try to communicate and have a conversation, this person's not available or they're kind of feeling down or uh, they're overwhelmed and so they don't want to talk about it at that time. But it's not that they don't want to talk about that. It's just it's not the right moment because they're kind of going through some other things. By the end of the week though, I do feel like this person is showing up. They're showing you support, giving back, uh, maybe helping you financially or doing a favor, uh, supporting you in some way, shape or form. And they're acting very generous. So they're being generous with their time, energy, money, resources towards you. And they're showing that they have paid attention to what you are expressing. And I think you see here, okay, all right, we're on the same page, but I do feel like here you, you want to make sure that you're not getting too greedy or going too uh, too far, too extreme with your desires and wanting to control the situation because you can, because you may be able to get away with something, but you don't want to, you know, uh, fall short or uh, take advantage of someone's generosity because they're willing to be generous with you, okay? Because their, their help is always going to be there and you don't have to worry about them like stepping out or going against you or anything like that at least not at this time okay so let's continue so on and extended to get more information to see where their energy is at what are they thinking what are they feeling when it comes to you what they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action will be towards you and then followed up with your advice at the end okay so we'll continue so on and extended link will be below i'll see you guys there if not, i'll see you for your next reading take care and happy birthday bye